In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a prioritization matrix in Looker Studio. So the idea of a prioritization matrix, especially when it comes to dashboard design or something like that, which is in this example, is deciding what requirements to implement. So you select some requirements, you grade them on a scale, and then you have four quadrants of implement now, implement next, do not implement, and consider implementing. And what this dashboard can do is it can give that information back to the users in a very, very easy way. So to get started, you actually have to have the users go out and make the decisions on some certain business metrics. So we have two things here. We've got average value and average complexity. Business impact, user adoption, decision making are in the value and availability, development time and tool proficiency are in the complexity. I've just averaged these out here in the Google Sheet and I'm going to use this within Looker Studio itself. You could do the averages in the Looker Studio, but it's easier to do them in the sheet. So I'm just creating a new Looker Studio here, connecting this to the Google Sheet. I'm going to click next in here and this will bring the data into the dashboard. I can get rid of this out of the box visualization because I'm going to do a few things just to set this up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the banner of this dashboard. This is just something I've created in Canva and is a good way to start with your dashboard because I'm going to take the colors from this by going into extract theme from image. And what I can do is I can just upload this image and then the team comes out with the colors from that image. So it gives me three different images based on those colors. I can select which one I want. I'm going to select this one without the yellow in it. And then I'm going to start building my matrix. So I start out with a scatter plot and I'll put that scatter plot up here on the dashboard. So it's essentially just a scatter plot in the table, but we really need to style it in order to make it look like a prioritization matrix. So I'm taking my average value and I'm taking my average complexity into this on the X and Y axis. And what I want to do here, just change the name in here to just value and complexity instead of average value and average complexity. In the style here, I have to start by doing a few things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these grids off. So we're going to the grid and changing that to transparent. And then I want to reverse the direction of the X axis because high complexity is bad. And then what I want to do is I want to go to that X axis it's max 4.5 at the moment, so I want to make this max 5. So both the metrics are on the same level. And this looks like a good start. And now I can go on with the styling. First thing is a reference line. So I want a reference line halfway through my value and complexity. And that's going to make my uh, cross in the middle. So the first reference line is on the y-axis. Second reference line is on the x-axis. I'm just going to make these both solid. And I'm going to get rid of this um, text in here. So solid lines for both of them and then let's just get rid of the label on both so just unclick the label on both and then what I want to do is I want to put a bit of text in each one as you've seen in the start of the video I've got text in here to name and categorize my different quadrants so the first quadrant is going to be the best quadrant which is um, high value low complexity that's going to be implement now I'm just going to bold this and just increase the font of it and then I can just do the same with my four other quadrants Quadrants. I'm not going to show you this in the video for the sake of brevity, but we just duplicate this out and I can put these in the four different quadrants. Next thing I want to do is I want to give it a color. So you add a rectangle shape in here and then you just resize that. It goes a bit big. You just want to resize that into the quadrant. And then in the quadrant itself, you want to take this down to a 10% transparency and then you want to put a color into there. So I'm putting green, which is a good color. And then what you want to do, very important, is send to the back because you want want the, the different points to have the tooltips come out. If you leave it without sending it to the back, the tooltips won't uh, come out when you hover over them. So this basically is the prioritization matrix built. What we want to do is when we click on a dot, we want the information to be down the bottom. So I'm going to create a table down here and I'm going to put the all the list of the long list of metrics in here. So when I hover over something uh, and I click it, then I'll be able to filter on this table down below. So I'm just putting all my metrics in here and what I want to do is just take out those row numbers and I just want to fix up this formatting here so just resize columns and distribute that doesn't look great so I'm just going to do this again and I'm instead going to fit this to the data and that looks a bit better there this allows some pretty nice user interaction so when I go into view mode here which is what the user would see I can drag over a couple of points and those points would be highlighted there. So they're kind of my good points. And then on each point, when I double click it, you'll see all the metrics there. I really think this is a good example of taking a basic metric out of the box in Looker Studio and uplifting it for a certain purpose. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.